It's that time again. It's the Daily Mentor Message, and today is all about consistency. One of my favorite quotes is from Aristotle, and it says, We are what we repeatedly do. Emphasis on repeatedly. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act. It is a habit. So when we are doing something over and over and over again, and they say it takes 21 days to create a new habit. So if you're doing something for 21 days, you can create a new habit, whether that's a good habit or whether that's a bad habit. And the thing that interferes most with habit formation is inconsistency. And so when I made the thumbnail for today's video, I used a little whiteboard here and said, consistency or let consistency be your superpower. And if you're new to the Daily Mentor message, welcome. I truly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share in the, in the comments below or on the video, whether you're seeing this on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn or some other platform. Give me some love if this hits home. Maybe it's too early to tell because this is your first one and you kind of don't know where I'm going with this. But here's the format of these daily mentor messages. And first, it has to be applicable. So I have to be talking about something I've got some experience with or some understanding of. And so with very, very few exceptions, and I can't even think of one, I am talking to myself first in these daily mentor messages. It's like, hello, this is, this is a lesson, pay attention here. I'm talking to myself because I can learn these kinds of things because inconsistency using the in, let consistency be your superpower. If consistency is your superpower, what my kryptonite is most of the time is inconsistency because either I don't see the results as quickly as I would like and here's really my issue, my hang up, my problem, my obstacle, if you will, I'm a perfectionist and I'm very impatient. I've tried to play the guitar probably no less than 15 different times in my life. When, and most of them I've sat down with an instructor and a book or a video or an app and I'm learning chords and my brain and my pick hand and my fretboard hand do not cooperate as quickly as I would like them to and why? because I compare them to people. I compare them to others that are self-taught, that they can just play whatever they want. And they just picked up a guitar and listened and figured out how to do it. And then they can do that. I just can't. So that's another thing, compare-itis. When you compare yourself to someone else, you're already behind the eight ball. It's, an, it's a losing strategy. So that's my situation. I'm just being transparent here. My inconsistencies are usually because I get frustrated with the lack of results in the time frame that I want them. I'm impatient and I'm a perfectionist, neither of which are good. It's, it's great to want to be perfect, but you're never going to get there. Only one person's ever been perfect and they killed him for that. That was Jesus. So we can never be perfect but we should be consistent because consistency is what turns average into excellence and something so again back to aristotle we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act it's a habit 21 days of doing something can create a habit and let me encourage you to make them good habits so if i had the patience for 21 days to pick up a guitar and devote just one hour to it do you think I could be better? I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to my subconscious programming that tells me I want to be somebody like Jimi Hendrix or Eddie Van Halen or, or whoever, you know, tomorrow it's not going to happen, but I don't have the patience because I like that kind of music. I like guitar music. I want to play it. I can't, I get frustrated. So there, there's one sitting right there. There's one over there on my wall. I went wrong way. Actually, no, it was the right way. Right there. That's an autographed copy of a Fender Stratocaster from the band Def Leppard that my, my wife won in a drawing anyway, but I have, I've got three, four guitars in my house and I don't know how to play any of them. So that's embarrassing to admit because I bought the first one 25 years ago, right? So the craziness is, is because I've been very, 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 that was four varies, inconsistent in playing guitar and many other things. Many of, the, many of you have witnessed them on some of my social media platforms and I am vowing to commit to this daily mentor message and I'm vowing to commit to other things and being consistent 
and growing it because there's other people that are got used to seeing stuff and then I stopped doing it. And they're like, hey man, and they would even tell me, hey, I used to like when you would do that. I'm letting people down, especially my own potential and my own excellence. So message to you. Now I'm going to stop talking to myself and share and bring you into the conversation. So consistency is the greatest way to turn average into excellence. So whatever you're doing, stick it out, my friend. Keep doing it. And the more frequently you do it, if you do it on a daily basis, you're going to get better at it. Just know that takes 21 days to develop a habit, develop a new habit and make your new habit be your superpower of consistency because whatever it is you want to accomplish, whether that's to buy a dream house, buy a car, start a business, write a book, get a job, be a great dad to your kids, be a great grandmother to your grandkids, be a great grandfather, be an inventor, be an investor, whatever it is, it takes consistency every day moving closer and closer and closer to your goal. And the other is have a goal. Have something you're working on every day. Take measures every day to get there. Stay consistent and watch your average turn into your excellence. And then from there, your superpower and perhaps what you're even known for. Take the challenge, my friend. It's in there. Let it come out because the world needs it. Have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. And if you found any value in this daily mentor message, please, please do me a favor, do the world a favor and share it. I'm truly grateful. Have a wonderful day and God bless.